Listen carefully to this divine message of healing and restoration, Thayat, and let your heart be filled with hope and peace. My beloved child, trust is the foundation of all meaningful relationships. When trust is broken, it wounds the heart deeply. But remember, I am the God of healing and restoration. I invite you to journey with me as we mend what is broken and rebuild what has been lost. In this message, I will guide you through the steps to heal broken trust and restore your relationships in my way. Trust is like a delicate thread that connects hearts together. When this thread is severed, it can feel as if a part of your very being has been torn apart. The pain of broken trust is real, and it can leave deep scars on your heart. But take heart, my child, for I am with you. I see your pain, and I am here to comfort you. I am the great healer, and I can mend even the deepest wounds. In this journey of healing, you will need to embrace my wisdom and follow my guidance. I will show you how to rebuild trust, not through human strength, but through my divine power and love. Trust in me, and let my words fill you with hope and peace. As you listen to this message, allow it to transform your heart and your relationships. You are not alone in this journey. I am with you every step of the way. Together, we will rebuild what has been broken and restore the bonds of love and trust. My dear child, open your heart to me and let my healing touch make you whole again. Trust is a precious gift that binds hearts together. It is the assurance that you are safe and loved. When trust is present, relationships thrive and grow. My child, understand that trust is not just about believing in others but also about being trustworthy yourself. Trust is a two-way street, requiring both giving and receiving. When you trust someone, you place your confidence in them. You believe that they will act in your best interests and that they will not betray you. Type Amen in the comments and don't forget to share this message with up to three people so that God can help you. This kind of trust creates a strong foundation for any relationship, whether it is with family, friends, or even with me, your Heavenly Father. Trust allows for openness, vulnerability, eh? and deep connections. But trust is fragile. It can be easily broken by dishonesty, betrayal, or neglect. When trust is shattered, it can feel as if the very ground beneath your feet has given way. The pain of broken trust can lead to feelings of hurt, anger, and even hopelessness. But do not despair, my child, for I am here to guide you in the process of healing and rebuilding trust. To rebuild trust, you must first understand its importance. Trust is not something that can be demanded or forced. It must be earned and nurtured over time. It requires consistent and reliable actions, as well as a genuine commitment to honesty and integrity. As you embark on this journey, remember that trust is a gift that must be cherished and protected. Let my words guide you in understanding the true essence of trust. Trust in me, and let me show you how to be trustworthy in your relationships. Together, we will rebuild the bonds that have been broken and create a foundation of trust that is unshakable. Broken trust can leave you feeling hurt, betrayed, and alone. These feelings are real and valid. Acknowledge your pain, my child, and know that I see your wounds. I am here to comfort you and to heal the deep scars that broken trust has left behind. When trust is shattered, it can feel as if a part of your soul has been wounded. The pain of broken trust can manifest in many ways. You may feel a deep sense of loss, as if something precious has been taken from you. You may experience anger and resentment towards the person who broke your trust. These emotions are natural, and it is important to acknowledge and process them. Do not suppress your feelings, but bring them to me. I am your refuge and your strength, and I am here to help you heal. In the midst of your pain, it can be difficult to see a way forward. You may wonder if it is possible to ever trust again. But remember, my child, that I am the God of healing and restoration. I can take the broken pieces of your heart and make them whole again. Trust in my love and my power to heal. As you journey through the pain of broken trust, lean on me. 
Let my presence bring you comfort and peace. I understand your pain, and I am here to walk with you through every step of the healing process. Together, we will overcome the hurt and build a foundation of trust that is stronger than before. I promise you healing. My dear child, I am the great healer, and I can mend even the deepest wounds. Open your heart to me, and let my love and grace flow into the broken places. Trust in my power to restore and renew. My healing is not just a superficial fix, but a deep and transformative process that will bring lasting peace and wholeness. When you open your heart to me, you invite my healing touch into your life. Allow my love to penetrate the deepest corners of your heart, where the pain of broken trust resides. Let my grace wash over you, cleansing you from the bitterness and resentment that may have taken root. I am here to heal you, my child, and to make you whole again. Healing is a process, and it requires your willingness to let go of the past and to embrace the future with hope and faith. Trust that I am with you every step of the way. My healing may not happen overnight, but it will happen. Be patient and trust in my timing. Dear child, if you wish to help our ministry in spreading the message of Jesus, kindly consider supporting us by donating through the Buy Me A Coffee link provided in the description and pinned comment as you journey through this process of healing. Keep your eyes fixed on me. Let my love be your guide and your source of strength. I am the great healer, and I will not abandon you. My promise of healing is sure, and my love for you is everlasting. Trust in me, and let me heal your heart and restore your relationships. Forgiveness is a crucial step in healing broken trust. It is not about condoning the hurt, but about releasing the burden of anger and resentment. Forgive as I have forgiven you, and you will find freedom and peace. Forgiveness is a powerful act that can break the chains of bitterness and open the door to healing and reconciliation. When you hold on to anger and resentment, it poisons your heart and hinders your ability to heal. Forgiveness is not about denying the hurt or pretending that it did not happen. It is about acknowledging the pain and choosing to let go of the desire for revenge. It is about freeing yourself from the grip of bitterness and allowing my love and grace to fill your heart. Forgiveness is a process, and it may not happen all at once. It requires your willingness to let go of the past and to trust in my justice and my mercy. Remember that I have forgiven you of your sins, and I call you to extend that same forgiveness to others. As you forgive, you will experience a release of the burden that has weighed you down and a sense of freedom and peace. Let my words guide you in the process of forgiveness. Bring your pain and your anger to me, and let me help you release them. Trust in my power to heal and to restore. Forgiveness is not easy, but it is essential for healing and for rebuilding trust. Trust in me, and let me lead you on the path of forgiveness and peace. Effective communication is key to rebuilding trust. Speak truthfully and lovingly. Listen with an open heart. Share your feelings and fears, and seek to understand each other. Through honest and compassionate communication, trust can be rebuilt. Communication is the lifeblood of any relationship, and it is essential for healing and restoration. When you communicate truthfully, you build a foundation of honesty and integrity. Be willing to share your thoughts and feelings openly, without fear of judgment or rejection. Let your words be guided by love and compassion, and seek to understand the perspective of the other person. Communication is not just about speaking, but also about listening. Listen with an open heart and a willingness to understand. Effective communication requires vulnerability. Be willing to share your fears, your hopes, and your dreams. Let the other person see your true self and be open to seeing theirs. Vulnerability creates a deeper connection and fosters trust. If you believe in the power and grace of God, type triple nine in the comments below. As you communicate, remember that words have the power to heal or to harm. Choose your words carefully and let them be guided by my love and wisdom. Through honest and compassionate communication, you can rebuild trust and restore your relationships. 
Trust in my guidance, and let me lead you in the path of effective communication. My dear child, I am with you always. I am the God of healing and restoration. Trust in me and my ways. Let my love and grace guide you as you rebuild trust and restore relationships. You are never alone, for I am with you, now and always. As you journey through the process of healing, remember that I am with you every step of the way. Trust in my love and my power to heal. Let my presence bring you comfort and peace. Trust that I am working in your life and that I am guiding you. Let my love and grace fill your heart and guide your actions. Be willing to put in the time and the effort to rebuild trust and to mend the bond that has been broken. Seek my guidance and my wisdom as you work towards healing and restoration. You are never alone, for I am with you. Trust in my promises and my love. Let my words guide you and inspire you. Together, we will rebuild trust and restore your relationships. Trust in me, and let me lead you in the process of healing and restoration. My dear child, you are deeply loved. Trust in me, and let my love and grace guide you. You are never alone, for I am with you, now and always. Amen. My child, click on the join button to join us as a cherished member of our community.